All right, guys. So we just finished reading uh, John Locke's Two Treaties of Government. And so in terms of the questions that I pose to you guys, uh, I want to hear your responses after uh, reading this primary document. And so number one, uh, where does Locke believe his political authority comes from? And secondly, what does he state is the purpose of government? And so looking at these two questions, um, does anybody have any initial thoughts? Where are the questions? First question oh. was, uh, where does Locke believe his political, uh, where believe political authority comes from? And secondly, what does he state is the purpose of government? So from what we read, um, how could you answer those two questions or one of those two questions? Uh, Naomi, you got your hand up, go ahead. He believes it comes from human nature. He believes that we're born with rights and the right to have liberty. So he believes government is established mainly and purposely so that those rights can be protected and given to everyone. Okay, yeah, anybody else? Rob? Um, I was thinking how he states the purpose of government as being to protect, um, protect the rights that people have instead of having, or instead of having people have to protect themselves, the government should be protecting those rights that are um, just and stuff for them. And so yeah. Yeah. Uh, anybody else? Well, he believed that political power is given into the hands of society, and that uh, the society itself is able to determine eventually who gets that political power. And if whoever is misusing that political power, if the society itself and civilization deserves to choose another another person or overthrow the government to decide who, who else should get it. Because mm -hmm. Locke fundamentally believed in human rights, and he believed if the, if the government Pose those human rights, the people had a right to decide another political power. Okay, yeah. Uh, Luigi, you had your hand up? Go ahead. Yeah, he believed that the people grant the power to those that govern over them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Isaiah, anything else? Um, not that, pretty much not that everyone else said that he yeah. believes that people have power and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. What about you, George? George, I got a question for you. Do you think it's important that we each have natural rights that are given to us by God? Yeah. Yeah, that's important, right? Yeah. Awesome. All right. Yeah. So what he's what he's getting at, guys, in these in this document here, in terms of these two questions that I uh, asked you guys, is he ultimately believes that political authority um, comes from the people, right? And that each individual has rights that are given to them by God, right? And so in terms of the government, yes, the government's purpose is to look out for the good of the people and to protect them in terms of laws and various other things. But ultimately, that power comes from the people. And so this idea of popular sovereignty is kind of at the forefront of his writings and his thinking. And so it enables people to elect uh, individuals to represent um, their rights, right? It's not the other way around in which the government decides um, what rights people have. However, it's the individuals themselves as a people that collectively agree on what rights need to be uh, maintained and held within government. And so his whole theory is that to ensure that popular sovereignty or that human rights or individual rights that come from God, that those stay intact and that it is up to elected officials to ensure that that's how it uh, runs within government. So that's what we're going to look at today uh, in more detail in terms of the revolutions.